Right, give me one second. And here we go. What's up, Show Nation? This is Chris Singleton, and welcome to the show. Hello, baseball fans. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And today on the hill, Shohei Otani. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I've become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs. But they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Okay, all set to go. Here's Brandon Crawford. Swing and a miss. And this one is <coughs> off and running. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The pitch. The punch out there. And there's one away. Well, that at-bat seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at-bat. Tommy LaStella watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. And now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Brandon Bell swings through one there. No score just getting started, top of the first. 
Next pitch is outside. Stays alive. And the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Giants are down. Bottom of the first. Here's David Fletcher. The pitch. And leading off for the Angels. Swing and a ball popped up. David Listella racing over to make the catch. Batting second. The left fielder. Brandon Marsh right steps to the plate. Marsh. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That one clubbed out towards left go. center. That'll be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Here's Trout. And that one fouled off. And now the 01. Bounced out to short. Whips it to first. Play is made, two out. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. Batting four. The first baseman. Matt Theis. To the right side. And a base hit. Go, go, go. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. It sounded different than most hits coming off the bat. You don't need numbers to tell you the ball was hit extremely hard, but at 115 miles per hour, that's not an exit velocity you see very often. Very impressive. Now batting Tyler Wade. Batting fifth. The third baseman, Tyler Wade. And that one ripped to left. Wait, makes the catch, and that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's an early 1-0 lead. Welcome back. Top of the second. Here's Jack Peterson. The pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. There's the strike of the knees. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And it hits the fence. And the tying runs at second okay. base with a double. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Wilmer Flores at the plate now as he chases after that one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And foul ball. The pitch. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Next offering is fouled back. At the belt and fires. He swings and fouls one off. Otani, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And now two gone. Mike Yastrzemski up here. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now. And they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boogie, and you just don't want to get careless. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Back here at the ballpark. And now the center fielder, Jack Mayfield. And leading up for the eighth. And he deals. The center fielder. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away.
Bounce to the right. Listella picks it up. Throws to first. One up, one down. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got, got inside him. on him and got him to bounce the into that out. Baseman. And now it's Matt Duffy. Duffy. On the ground to the left. Sends it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Batting eight. The catcher. Matt Stassi. Max Stassi comes up to hit. He is at the top of the game in terms of defense at the catching spot. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. It's so impressive because these guys have to do so much study and preparation for their pitchers, for opposing hitters, and really their number one job is to guide that staff through a ball game. And so when you also can turn it up offensively and be a force there, that is it. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. But they lead it one to nothing. <laughs> Out of the third inning and digging in for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski. San Francisco. The right There's a strike. Five. Mike Yastrzemski. Pitch misses inside, and now it's even one and one. And the righty deals. Foul ball. But why the kick the pitch? And a swing and a miss. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Here's Kirk Casale. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, Excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. And here it comes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And there are two outs. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Marsh in position, and that's the third out. Nothing doing there for Sam. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Taylor Ward. And leading off for the Angels. The wind of the pitch. The right fielder, Taylor. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. David Fletcher now, now at the plate. Wide to right his first time. David Fletcher. That one fouled off. Ward on at first. Nobody out. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the catch. And there's one down. Now batting left fielder. And Brandon. now Brandon March. March. Hold on. Oh yeah. On the ground, right <coughs> side, and he picks it up in foul territory. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, a second, might be two. Tags the runner for one, not in time at first. It's a field.